through and finish it off. I will run you through some of these details a little bit more. So over here we have another kind of arch shape. So I might even be able to come over. I'm just going to clone this. Ah, you know, I was going to going to change that arch to fix the, to kind of get this shape but this should be easier just to knock this out so rectangle 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 and guess what it's going to be a rectangle there we go all right and we'll take this guy here and turn him into an edit spline and then we're going to attach one, two, three, four. And then we'll go into the base shape and we're just going to Boolean all these different pieces into it. There we go. And I'm going to, I only really want the side. Let's grab these points. We'll turn these all into corners. And just so that it reads a little better. I'm going to take this outer edge and Kind of scale that down. I don't like having 90 degrees. There we go. All right. So we have this guy. Now what we need is just one more little shape. I'm going to make a rectangle to kind of define its footprint. All right, make him square. All right. And then let's move him over and rotate him 90 degrees. All right, and bevel profile. Come down, bevel profile, pick the profile, and there he is. So once again, we're just gonna need to go into our profile gizmo. I'm gonna rotate it 180 degrees here. Actually, I think I need to rotate it this direction. There we go. I'm going to move it out. Just slide this guy up. It's about right. Make sure he kind of sits sort of centered here. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. It's like magic. I'm going to kind of bring him over a little bit. So I kind of want to get centered on this arch here. Actually, you know what I need to do? I just need to adjust the shape of this because this vertex starts curling right away. And I want it to be a little bit more straight to begin with. So why don't I just refine and add a second point. And then I'm going to take this point and just straighten it out a little bit. Oh boy, that's not going good. You know what? That was a horrible idea. Let's not do that. Let me just pretend that never happened and go back to this guy. There we go. I just need to go back into my shape and make some slight adjustments to it. It's a little bit intense here. Clearly this can come in a little bit there we go and some of these guys can come in a little bit that's a little better okay i think we're getting it now it's looking pretty good so we can take this whole thing and i'm actually going to convert this to an edit poly take the bottom of this and do a slight inset on it just extrude that down. All right. That down. There we go. And hide all. Let's see our arch coming together here. So from there, there's a number of different things we could do take our geometry and pull this back up 
and grab the bottom poly of this arch and just extrude it down. I'm going to grab all the sides of it and extrude those out by local normal. There we go. And then put a slight outline on them. Outline is going to angle it just a little bit. There we go. And then we can take this poly on the bottom and extrude him down. I think we'll do a slight outline on him as well, but we're going to angle him ever so slightly. And then one more time, we'll extrude, grab these polygons, and extrude them out by local normal again. Not quite as much. And again, with a slight outline, to kind of bring it down. And I think for the bottom here, I'm just going to make these planar along Y, flatten those out. And then I'm going to take this polygon at the bottom and actually scale him. See what I did there? By scaling him out, now I got the geometry for this one last little lip, which I can extrude down. So now I have this nice looking arch portion. All right. So I could take all this and just start to attach these pieces together and throw a symmetry on it. And you can see that I'm starting to get my nice arch model. Okay. There we go. So it's all coming together nicely. The last thing is just getting those uh, additional small columns there on the side. Also, we can... I'm going to go right click, convert to edit poly. I'm going to grab this edge and perform symmetry along the Z axis because I want to go front to back. I'm going to convert that to edit poly and then under hierarchy, effect pivot it only and center it to the object. There we go. There's our arch. Okay. Uh, last piece is just those additional columns. Those are simple enough to make. Oops. Hide him. Let's look at this from the front. Uh, this shape would actually be not that difficult to pull off. I would probably do it in texture though. I don't know if I would next necessarily do it in geometry. Um, I'm not going to do that. Basically all we need for this guy really will work from over here on the other side is we need this little base which is simple enough. I'm just going to draw that one out entirely by hand. You're working with splines, you can make things really, really smooth. Um, it does make it a little impractical for game art, so I don't always do that. Uh, that's what I'm kind of drawing these things out and making them kind of chunky looking. I'll make a little rectangle here. I'll rotate this 90 degrees. And then I'm going to come over, once again, bevel profile. I'm going to pick my profile. There we go. And I can just move that down to where it needs to sit. And then I'm just going to need one more rectangle here. Which I'm going to convert to an edit spline. Oops. Grab the top of it and pull it up here. And then I'm just going to extrude that out. There we go. Just looking at it from the side here. Pull that out. Convert to an edit poly. And I can grab the top uh, to throw this little bit of a lip on it. That up a little bit. Grab the sides. I don't really need the back of it though. 
and then we will extrude those out by local normal. Here we go. Just want to get a little bit of a lip on it. Okay. And then there's the detail that sits on the top, which is uh, a bit more than we really want to get into here. Really, for us, it's just going to kind of be grabbing this and extruding him up. Can I come up here? And then we can just kind of flare that out like so. I mean, we'll connect it once. Pull this up. Hey, one more time. There we go. All right. Now we're going to see the back side of this. So let's grab all those polys that make up the back side of this here tiny column, delete them, and grab all these verts. And then we should be able to make these planar, I think, along Z. Yep, look at that. And then we'll unhide all. And let's drag both those guys over to the front. There we go. Now he's just going to sit just like that. Kind of sitting out there on the edge. All right, we'll work. Let's uh, hide this guy again. Make sure this fella is lined up there nice. Yeah, looks like he does just sit right on top of it. Okay. This guy, he needs to get raised up. Actually, the bottom of this guy. We're going to go into Element, hold Alt and Deselect, because I just need to take the bottom of this and pull it down so... This fella sitting on top of him. There we go. Okay. Uh, I'm going to attach the base. And I can clone this over. This guy on the other side. And now I realize I am going to see the back side of it, aren't I? Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Let's just do this then. We'll grab that border. And we'll put a symmetry on it and just change the angle so we get the full shape. There we go. Done. Convert that to an edit poly. Come back to this guy and attach our two columns. We'll put on a symmetry. Remember, you're just going to need to flip. And then we'll put on one more symmetry along the Z axis. And flip there. And that is how we use a combination of both edit poly and splines to create an arch. Convert to edit poly and save.